In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can convert a base surface, which is going to be this one. As you can see here, I've made a hemisphere in Rhino and internalized that into Grasshopper. And then I'm going to convert that into a series of panels and connections. So as you can see here, I can change the length. So for example, if I increase that to maybe 12, this is going to update. If I put this to false, as you can see here, we have the panels and the connections. Uh, for example, offset the part is going to offset these connecting parts here. The radius is the length, which I'm going to explain. I'm going to make that. There is a thickness, which is going to create the final parts. So for example, if I increase or decrease the thickness, these parts are going to update. We're going to put them into two groups. One is the connecting parts. As you can see here, I can bring them out. And I will have those parts here. And the second part is going to be the panels, which you can see here. If I bring it here, you can see that this is going to be the part of the connections, and we will have the final results. Uh, before I start and show the tutorial for premium members, I'm going to explain how the concept goes and show you step by step how it works. So the first step is the surface we want to work with. So I can change that here. For example, if I want a new surface, uh, I can go and, for example, create a new one. Bring this a little bit up explode that and rebuild it and give that to the surface. So this is going to be the base surface we want. The next part is to define the length of the triangles we're going to create on that surface. This is going to be the length. So as you can see here, when I change it, this is going to also change the final mesh. Then we're going to create a series of circles on the mid edge of this mesh. As you can see, we're going to dismiss those parts that don't have any neighbors. But for those who have, we can control the radius of this, uh, of these circles and create them to get the final results. Then what we're going to do is to find the intersection between these circles and the base mesh. So as you can see here, this is going to be the intersection uh, curves, which we're going to extract like that. And then what we have to do is to offset that with uh, the number we have here. So if I change this offset, you can see that it's going to offset inside the circle and we will have the connection part for these sections. We are also going to offset the panels so we can define uh, how much space we have between those panels and the connections that are also going to be controllable in this algorithm. So if I put the parts to true, you can see that we're going to find the difference between the parts connecting the parts and the panels. And uh, we will have the base surface, which are going to extrude it in the both side to create the final results. And the end of this algorithm is creating two sections as an output. The first one is the parts, which we're going to make it in 3D and extrude it. And also the panels, which is going to be the second parts and have this as the final result of this tutorial. And remember that that can be on any base nerve surface. So let's take a look at the algorithm and how each part works. 